Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're just simply going to discuss about palindromes because sometimes there's a basic problem for people to understand the logic or to build the logic for checking whether for example a string of elements or a particular element is a palindrome. So what we are going to do simply here is first of all understand what is a palindrome. Actually a palindrome is something which is when reversed gives the same output. For example, I have written this, this word which does not have any meaning but if we reverse it, it would simply be a n a t a n a so an adena it's simply a word which like obviously it does not have any meaning but uh, it do have something which is a property of being a palindrome and i remember there's some there is an indian language which is spelled as malayalam and it's also a palindrome i do spell it this way or that way it's just going to be the same so yeah let's move on further so here we are checking about numeric palindromes so a numeric palindrome is simply as i told you is a palindrome which is a number and a palindrome you guys know which is a particular string of characters or characters just simply a word which when reversed means the same so for example three four five six five four three this is a palindrome palindrome numeric palindrome whatever you say that then nine four five six five four nine or seven three four nine four three seven all these are palindromes okay i guess you guys got what is a palindrome so let's move on to make a python program which tells us whether the given number or a list of numbers elements is a palindrome or not so Simply, if you want to check numeric palindrome, then a simple code which people usually don't understand the logic of, and they just simply, for example, for a coding interview, they just mug it up and they just spit it out whenever it's asked about. But uh, I would tell you to stand it. So, for example, f equals int input. So enter a number. So here, what we're going to do is simply for i in f. Now we we going to just check like we will just make a sim. Uh, we will just make we will just declare an element named as reverse here as with the value of zero and multiply reversed by 10 and then divide f the number we took as input by 10 here what we are going to do is simply first here was the reverse was name number the number of reverse was zero so the value of reverse got divided by 10 got multiplied by 10 and it gave out zero and then what we did was simply for example if we had 345 then what we got is simply 5 it got multiplied to reverse then what we're going to do is get 5 
out of the strings about uh, one by one this whole number gets reversed so here what we're going to do uh, is simply get it out so it would be like f equals f lower division by 10 so here what we did was just eliminate the last digit remaining in the input integer in the input element whatever you say that so because we just got it in the reversed element that's why we're eliminating it from this one so that the next time when the loop runs the loop must not get the same value so that's what it is no uh, when this is going to end then we would simply check whether f was equals to reversed string so it would be like we would create another element so that we can compare the reversed element this rev value from f and because we are terminating the whole value of f one by one so that it gets transferred in reversed form simply so what we're going to do is get another element named as for example we took it as demo so it's equals to f and at the end if demo equals equals f then print of string demo is a palindrome is a palindrome and simply if it's not then we would just end it like print f demo is not a pollen drone of string curly brackets demo is not a pollen drone so this code is complete right here now we what we're going to do is simply get this one explained so here we what we're going to do is simply when the first time the loop runs it would get reverse this value as zero so it would multiply it by 10 and get it as zero then it would add the remainder of division by 10 of f which is 5 to reverse value so this element would have this the end one in it no the next thing what we're going to do with simply so that we cannot so that we don't get five again and again we just simply eliminate five or the last digit in the numeric element by doing flow division from f so here when the next time here so here no the value of this is five and here is 34 left after the loop is around first time then the second time when it runs it will just simply multiply 5 from 10 and then what it's going to do is get the remainder of division by 10 of 34 so it would be 4 and then it would add 50 plus 4 which would be 54 and eliminate this one here and get this one here then the next time when the loop executes itself it will multiply 54 into 10 which is 540 and then 
the division remainder of 3 from 10, which is 3 itself, so it would simply add 540 plus 3 and eliminate 3 from the element f. Then it should simply be 543 and here it's eliminated. So now we got the number reversed. Now here what it's going to do is check whether it's a palindrome or not. So if demo, which is the same value which we took as f, is equals to, sorry for that, I didn't notice, is equal to reversed value, then demo or the original value is a palindrome, else it's not a palindrome. So this is the code for numeric palindrome. If you want to use it as in a list, it would simply be copied from here, then numeric palindrome in a list, then for example, we take a list of numbers, even we can take it as input or for just getting you guys explained, we just quote it. So, hey, for F in GH, and then I would simply print the code. Oh, I guess, and then I would simply print the code here. So, I hope you guys liked my video, you shared it to your friends, you have solved it before, I guess. Stay tuned for more awesome content. If you have any more queries, you can ask me in the comments.